things. It is, this practice is not about me. It's about you. And you can add on or take away at any point in any of the, the suggest, I'm giving suggestions. So if you need to back off, back off. If you need to add on, add on. If you need to stay and to stand and breathe or sit and breathe, that is also a very viable option. Yoga is a union connecting yourself, your conscious self with your body. And that's where we should start here. It's just with our conscious self. So you can sit or stand for the first part. We're gonna work on just opening up the front of your body and the sides and just spinal extension. So sit or stand in neutral, allowing yourself to relax. Notice what you're feeling when you're just standing or sitting in neutral. If you're holding tension anywhere, see if you can soften, let go of that tension, just bring your mind to that spot in your body, breathe air into it, and as you exhale, let that tension float away. And we'll just take about six more breaths here. You can have your eyes open or your eyes closed. <clears throat> Inhale, focus on your chest area. And as you exhale, focus on your belly area. Everybody's lengths of their breath are different. So when you're done, your sixth breath, and just bring your hands to prayer at your heart. And just bow your head towards your heart. We set an intention for our day, for our practice. If you don't have a specific intention, that's okay. You can just practice being present. And we'll open our eyes, bring your arms out by your side, palms facing forward. You're gonna inhale, as you inhale, bring your arms up, touch your thumb to your index finger and pinch. And then exhale, lower your arms down and then release your fingers so that you'll kind of spread them out at the end. So it's an inhale going up. Take your thumb to your middle finger. So you're making a little mudra. And then exhale, bringing the arms down. Release your fingers at the end. Inhale, arms sweep back up. Touch your thumbs with your ring finger. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, both arms up. Touch your pinky fingers to your thumb and exhale, lower it down. When your hands get to your waist and the end of your exhale, release your hands. So let's do two more rounds of those. So you're gonna do all four fingers two more times. So we'll start either seated or standing. You begin whenever you're ready. Just focus on Tapping the thumbs to each finger. If you like, use Ujjayi. 
That's where we breathe just in and out of our nose with constricting the back of your throat. So you almost feel like you're making your throat smaller. Or if you were have your mouth open, you'd be making that sound, that huh. Was my first round. I'm going to do one more. Getting taller each time. Relaxing the shoulders as they come down. Not to rush it, but to feel, experience. When you're finished with that last pinky finger, just pause, observe, check in. And then going into some lateral stretches next. Step your feet apart. And if you're in your chair, again, just step your feet a little bit wider than your hip bones. so that you can have good angles on your feet with your feet facing forward. Inhale the arms out to the side, but softly. So the shoulders aren't going up, they're just soft. Take your right hand up and your left hand down. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, left arm up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So do a couple on your own. Your inhale is always gonna be center. Your exhales is always gonna be the lean. And just find your stretch. Where does it? feel good to go to. That edge where you feel like, oh, that's a good stretch and you're not forcing, but it feels really good. Just a couple more. <clears throat> Finish out when you're ready. And just softly lower your arms to your side. Take just a second, notice how that feels. Maybe notice how your knees feel. Good. Now step your feet back together. So feet don't have to be touching here, but we're going into a squat. For our squat, I'm gonna turn to the side. And you can have your chair in front of you if you like. We're just gonna take the arms out straight out. So shoulders, elbows, wrist, try to get them in the same plane, in the same line. So inhale here, exhale, bend your knees, arms out. Inhale here, exhale, straighten the arms, low, and straighten the knees, lower the arms. <laughs> inhale. 
Exhale, reach out, bend, squat. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the arms, straighten the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. We'll do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now just rest, take a second. Oh, I'm gonna turn back to center. I just want you to sway your arms, just to kind of shake off those squats. Warming up just a bit more. <clears throat> Our next one we're going to do is a standing twist or seated. You could also do this seated. Take your hands, interlace them, and then put them on the back of your hand. And the feet can be normal or a little bit further apart if you like. So we'll inhale here to start. Exhale, right elbow forward, left elbow back. Standing twist, or seated. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the left. And let's just keep moving. Couple more. Focus on your breathing. One more to each side. And then lower your arms and some shoulder shrugs. Anything that feels good to kind of relax your trapezius muscles. All right, and now we're gonna move to the back of, actually the front of your chair. So if you have, if you're seated, you may wanna stand for these. We're gonna do cats and cows with our palms on the chair or on the side of the chair. So if you don't like that wrist flexion where it's flat, go to the side. This feels better to me with my, um, a little bit of arthritis in my wrist. So. So we're just gonna start in a flat back so that you feel like you could rest something on top of it, it wouldn't fall off. So that's your flat back. Notice the back of your neck. The neck we want to have start in neutral as well. So think of the neck as an extension of your spine. And if you lean back, you're gonna feel it in your legs. If you lean forward, you might feel it somewhere else in your legs. But just do a little rock forward and back here. And try to, you know, you've got your coccyx, your tailbone. You can point that out further away. 
You see how we've got this rocking motion going? Now we're gonna do that inner cat and cow. So you're gonna lean forward and that's gonna be the cow-like posture where the crown of the head points up, the chin points forward. Then you're gonna exhale, tuck the chin towards your chest, lean back, arch your back so that the shoulders go away from your spine, separating your scapula and then lean back forward, come into your cow. Exhale, cat. Leaning towards your heels, and now leaning towards your toes for the cow. And any other version that you like, you're welcome to explore. Think of the experience you're having in your body. Where you feel the stretch, the tension. Try to smooth it out. If you get dizzy, please don't take your head too low. And I'll always soften the knee creases to help with any back aches. Here. Good. Now, when you've had enough of these cats and cows, you're gonna come back to standing. Because the idea is to reset. So I'm gonna push back into my cat and then I'll reach the arms up, taking that good morning stretch. And then softly lowering the arms back down. your breath. Next, we're going to do a warrior one pose and you can, but we're going to hold on to the chair for it. So you can either turn your chair around or you can do it lower depending on how long your arms are. So we're just, I'm going to spin my chair around so that I've got the backrest towards me. And we'll start by stepping your left foot forward. The right foot's gonna be back. Now turn your right toes slightly to the right. So there's a 45 degree angle and you feel more stable in your right heel. So the right heel is the furthest thing back. Left foot, it's pointing to 12 o'clock underneath your chair. You're gonna take the hands to the chair. Bend into your left knee, bring your shoulders back. See if you can find a little bit of tension right here, going down your right leg and then straighten. Inhale, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do three more. Take your time. Knee track straight ahead if you can. Awesome. Now, step in your back foot. Feet back together and rest. <clears throat> now we'll step back your left foot, right foot will remain forward. Left toes point to the left side, left heels the furthest thing back. You can even touch your hips to see where your hips are facing. We want them to go straight at 12. Hands touch the back of the chair rest or the thing or the seat of the chair and you can bend on your exhale inhale to straighten exhale bend inhale to straighten keep going shoulders stay down and back knee tracks straight forward as you bend it Two more. Mm 
Now step your feet together. Just rest. And now we're going to do a little bit of a back bend. So your hands will be on the, your fingertips will be on the chair. You can also do this on a wall. So if you had a wall in front of you, clearly I have no wall space, right? <laughs> I'm going to have books everywhere. But you can do it up against the wall. But because I don't, I'm going to use the chair here. And we're just going to step slightly back with your left foot. We'll start with the left foot. So it's not a big step, it's just straight back. So both hips are still facing forward. And now we're gonna lean back and take your right arm up. See if you can feel a stretch in your, I feel it here in my left leg, I feel it here, and I also feel it in my back. Exhale, lower it down. So do as much or as little as you need, keeping the left foot back, we're still doing the left side, inhale. Hips come forward, exhale, lower. Keep your chin tucked kind of down towards your chest so we don't have to worry about the neck. Do three more. Inhale to go up and back. Exhale, hand comes down. Inhale. Last one. Step in your left foot to meet your right. Breathe. All right, now the right foot's going to step back just a little step, like a foot's distance. I got a small foot, so I have a little step. <laughs> I'm keeping the hips going forward. Right, this one, the left arm's gonna go up. As you inhale, lift up the left arm, arch back. Exhale, lower your arm. Inhale. Exhale. And not to rush. Don't hurry through the breaths. You want the breaths to be slow and using up the full capacity of your lungs to be efficient. Three more. One. Uh, set your hand back to the chair, step in your left foot. And now going into a forward fold, you are welcome to use the seat of the chair again. Or you don't have to use the chair at all. You could just bring your hands to your knees, your shins. You can use the couch or whatever you have accessible nearby. That's, that's the beauty of a yoga practice is we don't have to have equipment. You really don't need anything. So, you know, anything that's nearby is, is, is good. I'm going to use the seat of the chair. So I want to be back far enough that I can touch when I lean forward. All right. Inhale, both arms come up through the front. So there's the back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Hands touch down. Soft bend in the knees to rise back up. See if you can bring your arms with your head at the same time. Exhale, lower the arms down by your side. So we're going to reset each time. So go slow. Inhale, arms come up. Through the front, exhale, 
Exhale, draw the belly in as you're going down. Head stays with the arms. Inhale, slide bend in the knees as the arms and the head come up simultaneously. Exhale, synchronizing your breath as your hands come down, finish your exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms and head, on up. Exhale, lower your hands down by your side. Let's do three more, taking your time. Focus on your breathing. And one more here. When you're complete, lower your arms. And then we'll come down and actually sit in our chair for the rest of it. <clears throat> well, if you just wanted to do standing work, you could stop here. If you wanted to go um, into seated work, you could start here or <laughs> continue on. So we'll sit nice and tall. I have my feet on a yoga block because I'm short. And I want my feet to feel like they're, they're touching the ground and I'm not like letting my feet feel all wrong. Uh, something to stabilize us. And we're gonna work on the upper traps your trapezius up here, and your rhomboids. So we're gonna take our fingers to your heart. So just your fingertips right here. Oh my gosh, my skin matches my shirt, that's terrible. <laughs> I am a ghostly figure here. Inhale, open the arms, but keep the elbows in. So this is a little baby back and keep your chin tucked in. Exhale, hands come back to your heart center. Inhale. Hands spread apart, your fingers spread apart. And then exhale, bring it all back in. You can even start to add in more of a chin tuck here. And just express your version of an upper back bend that feels good to you. Let's do two more together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Lower your hands to your lap. Sit to the back of your chair. So you feel your back resting up the, the chair. <clears throat> And what I'd like you to do now is close your eyes or make a soft gaze and count backwards from 60 to one. When you complete that, just bring your hands back to prayer. And we'll just, this is our little rest and I want you to see if you can concentrate. So I'll start us off, inhale, exhale, 60. 
60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 40, continue on. For some of us, that was probably super easy. For other of us, may have a little challenging uh, just staying focused. I know like my mind always wants to go to different places and it's, it's that one point of focus that we work on in yoga, it's called dharana. So when you're a complete, let's open our eyes. We're gonna work on the boxer muscle your serratus interior here. And that's the muscle that's underneath your arm. And it's called the boxer muscle because it's the muscle you use to take to, to hit forward. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our left hand, make a fist and you can bring it back like you're trying to wind it up. So bring back the elbow behind your ribs. And then I want you to take it across to the right side and bring it back. Exhale, coming backwards. Inhale, punching forward. And think about like drawing their shoulder blade off of the backs of your ribs as you do this. Let's do three more. Ah, when you're done, lower your hand to your lap, sit up. Right, the right side's jealous, so let's get to it. Make a fist, bring your elbow behind you. And then inhale, strike it across your chest. Bring it back. Bring it forward. Slow movement, so that you're really making the effort to move that muscle. Two more. Release your right hand to your lap. Take a couple breaths, easy breathing.
Now moving more into our middle of our back, thoracic spine area. We're gonna take your right, your left hand to your right leg, bend your elbows and lean in that direction. And then inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, lean. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale. Inhale, half up. Exhale, half, all the way down. <laughs> Inhale, halfway up, not all the way. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Sit back up with a straight spine. Check in. Left hand's gonna stay down, right hand's gonna go on top. It's a gentle turn. So your chin points to your left leg. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward towards the left side. Inhale, lift up halfway. Don't go all the way up. Exhale, go all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Keep going, just a couple more. Your own pace. Two more. When you're finished, gently bring yourself back up to center. Right hand returns to your lap. Pause. Bring your knees parallel to one another so we're not splaying out for this one. And we're gonna keep your, you can keep your left hand on your lap. We're gonna take the right hand and hold on and just extend out your right leg and then bend it back. Extension, you can hold, you can hold here and flex your feet so you push through the heel. So hip to heel and then bend the knee, but you don't even have to lower your foot all the way to the ground, you can hover it. Then inhale to extend, exhale, slow release down. Inhale, these are leg lifts and lowers. Try to make your leg as long as you can with your toes flexed. Do two more. And then when you're done, set your foot back down. Focus on your left side. Inhale, lift your left leg, point your toes towards you or up, pushing out through your left heel. So feel the extension from the left hip, femur, all the way down to the heel. And the hands on your legs for that introceptive. So you want to, when your hand is on your leg, you're, you're more aware. It makes this brain to hand connection. Inhale to straighten, exhale to lower. Such a simple pose, but boy, do I feel it. One more here. 
and then set it down. Now scoot yourself more to the middle of your chair so you're, you have a little bit of space behind you. And we're going to take your left hand behind your back. So all, the, all you're doing is putting the back of your hand on your low back. So that's gonna help relax this uh, left shoulder. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale, reach down in between your knees, reaching your fingertips towards the floor. And then inhale, coming back up. Exhale, reaching down in between your knees. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale. Inhale. Two more, take your time. And then lower your right arm, release your left back to your lap, sit up. Trying the other side, the right hand's gonna go to your back. Dropping your right shoulder. Left arm sweeps up through the front. Exhale, bring your left arm down in between your knees. Reach to the floor. Inhale, brings it up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. When you're done, gently lower your left arm, move your right arm back to your lap. Sit again to the back of your chair so your spine touches something in the back side. And then this time with our legs, as opposed to flexing them, we're gonna point your toes. So lift your toes and point like you're a ballerina and then point them down. So it's a lift and lower. We're not going all the way to the floor. We're just lifting and lowering as we point our toes is different. Ooh, it might be harder. Two more. Oh, lower your right foot back to the earth. Breathe. Extend out your left leg, point your toes, and lower, and lift. If you can get that your thigh off of the chair, even more power to you. If you can't, that's all right, too. Slow so you feel it, that interceptiveness from your hand being on your leg. Two more. So set that down and relax. Go back to the middle of your chair. This time, both of your hands are gonna do like this, but behind your back, making little, little butterfly wings. I want you to keep your spine straight. So you're not hunched. We're just gonna move the elbows back and then the elbows forward. The spine, try to keep it without movement. So think of these as like, this is your part of your, um, these are your wings, you're only flapping your wings. <laughs> the elbows go back, the elbows come forward or maybe even neutral, depending on how tight your elbow, your shoulders are. So just think of moving the elbows back behind you, moving them back to neutral. Spine and head 
legs, everything staying still. The only thing moving is your arms. Two more. Ooh. And release. Let's roll out our wrist. Again, if you're short, you may want to put something underneath, even if it's a pillow, because we're going to do some uh, clamshells or supta konasana. So we're going to practice that. So sit more towards the edge of your chair if you're shorter. So we'll start with our knees in neutral. Inhale, open them out. Rolling to the pinky edges of the knife edge of your, your both feet. And then bring the knees back together. Exhale, knees go out. Inhale, everything draws up to the chest. Exhale, everything goes down to your low belly. So just practice this and focus on your breathing. I guess this is great for your abductors, but it's really good for your pelvic floor. Think about breathing in and up on your inhale. Exhale, going down and relaxing the lower abdomen. Move at your own pace. Let's do three more. Feet anchored to the ground in neutral, straight spine, hands on your knees. Exhale, lean forward. Try to make your back as flat as possible. Gaze is slightly in front of you, so your chin is pointing straight down along with your nose. It's not tucked under. And now with your hands on your knees, we're gonna go into our cobra pose. Just lift up and then exhale, come back down. So baby cobra, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Think about strengthening the muscles in your back and lower. Two more. Little tiny movements, collarbones lift, and then they lower. On your last one, if you want to go into dangle, you can bring your hands down. Just let yourself drape over your, your legs. Deep breathing though, nice smooth breaths. And then when you are ready to come out of it, keep your chin tucked in, slide your hands up your legs until your shoulders come back and then rest your spine on the back of the chair. Easy twist pose to finish this out. Now bring your back off the back of the chair so you are sitting up. Take your right hand to your left knee, left hand to your left hip, and turn to the left. 
deep breaths. Take three of them. We'll turn back to center. Switching directions, left hand goes to your right leg, right hand to your left, right hip. Turn, so left shoulder's coming forward, right shoulder's going back. Inhale, tall, straight spine. Exhale, deep in your twist. Inhale back to center. We're going to do our taco tongue arm where we move our neck and we make our tongue curled up like a taco. If you can't make that, put the back of your tongue on your teeth. So I come closer so you can actually see. We've done these before. So you're going to Round your tongue. If that's not accessible to you, you put your tongue on the back of your teeth. It's hard for me to talk and do that. <laughs> but there's a reason. Our, first of all, our muscles in our mouth are important too, right? Um, and this is a cooling breath. It's it's meant to help relax you. So I'm going to do it and you can, he, I can't talk and do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it and then we'll do it together. So we'll inhale. Exhale. Then I'm gonna tuck my chin down, stick my tongue out a little bit and round the sides. Suck the tongue in, that was the inhale. And then exhale through your nose, tucking your chin back down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more round. Inhale through your tongue. Exhale. Now close your eyes if they're open. And just for a few moments here, relax. Maybe notice any sound you're hearing, but not trying to create stories with the sound, but just notice the sound. Sounds in your room, sounds outside of your room. Let yourself completely relax. Whatever you do today, let it be enough. Let go of judgments you had about what you should be doing today and allow yourself to simply be. Comparing yourself, your journey, 
may be habitual, but it gets you nowhere. It makes you feel worse and it keeps you stuck. So stop trying to fixate on wherever ever anyone else is and start giving yourself permission to be exactly where you are. Quiet the voice telling you to do more, to be more, and to trust in this moment who you are, where you are at, and what you are doing is enough. You will get to where you need to be on your own time. Until then, breathe. Breathe and be patient with yourself in the process. You're doing the best you can to cope and to survive amidst your struggles. And that's all you can ask of yourself. It's enough. And you are enough. And that's by Danielle Kopi, I believe. So let's take a deep breath in together. Exhale out with a sigh, an audible one. Ha. <sighs> Do it two more times. Inhale. Exhale with your sigh. Ah. Inhale. Ah. Raise your arms up over your head. Take a good morning stretch again. You can flip your palms, lean anything that you want to move. And then bend your elbows, bring your palms together, rest your thumbs on your heart. It was an honor to practice with you. I hope you enjoyed it. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be kind. Namaste.